Hello friends, this is Umesh and welcome to the fourth video of the Raspberry Pi tutorial series. In this video, we're going to look at different Linux command on Raspberry Pi. If you're just a beginner and if you want to get into the Raspberry Pi programming, then perhaps this is a very important video for you to get started and uh, understand what are the different Linux commands in order to navigate into the different parts of the Raspberry Pi. The first and very important command that we want to explore is ls command. So if you type ls and hit enter, it will list all the directories and folders and everything that we have at this point where we are sitting on a Raspberry Pi. So uh, this is a very important command. Whenever you navigate to any place, you want to see what is there inside the directory or inside the place where, where wherever you are, it's very important. So the next command is CD, that is a change directory. And uh, the, the place that we would be navigating is a desktop because on a desktop, we, I mean, I don't always keep many things, but yeah, many people keep it. So let's go to desktop. Let's say CD space desktop, and that will take you to the desktop. And if you want to see that what is there on a desktop, you just run ls command list everything on a desktop. And you can see I have one folder or directory uh, called codes. So what we're going to do is instead of navigating into this directory, we would going to create a new directory. In Windows, they used to call it as a folder and in Linux, they used to call it as a directory. So let's create a new folder or directory, mkdir, make a directory and give it the name umesh because this is my name. So let's hit enter. So once you run mkdir umesh, then you would expect that the directory name umesh has been listed under ls, so under the desktop. So let's type ls and hit enter. You can see now I have umesh um, directory created. So let's go into the umesh folder, cd umesh, and uh, you can see right now I'm into umesh now. So if you see there is nothing, right? There is now nothing because it just freshly created. So the next step is that you might be wondering that how you are um, going to create any file because um, the one thing that we usually do is we create a different types of files and the most famous type of file is a text file. So let's create a new file. So you might be wondering how to create a files on a Linux like operating system or Unix like operating system. So just type sudo. So sudo is a super user. So uh, it's like an administrative privilege for you that you have the ability to read and write a file. So type sudo always to, uh, to, to, to make your system understand that you are a super user. And then type a nano. Nano is the editor. It's a text editor in uh, under, under Linux. And then give it the name to the file. Let's say readme, re, -E readme.txt. So this is the way that we're going to create a text file. So right now you can see I'm in a text file. So I can give it a my message like a Merry Christmas because it's uh, December and uh, tomorrow is a Christmas. So now you type whatever you want to type into the file. The next step is you want to save the changes that you made into the file. And to save the changes, you just hold a control and hit O. And as you can see at the lower down corner, you can see file name to write readme.txt. Yes, of course, we want to save these changes. Hit enter button. As you can see right now, wrote one line. So that means one line has been added. So if you want to exit out of this file, you just have to hold a control and then hit X and you will become out of this file. So if I list again by running ls command, you can see right now I have a readme.txt file. So this is the way that you're going to create a file. So if you want to uh, know means how you're going to come out of this folder, I mean the directory umesh, you can just type cd space dot dot, you will come out of umesh and now you're on a desktop. You can see right now you're on desktop. So there are two very important locations you must need to know in order to uh, work on Linux. But before that, I would like to show you. You can see right now I have a lot of commands here and it looks very ugly. So you might wonder how you how we can clean all the screen by running any command. So there's a command called clear, C-L-E-A-R, clear and hit enter. And you can see all the ugly stuff has been gone. So what I wanted to tell you earlier was that there are the two very important places and two important commands you must need to know is you usually want to visit your home directory because that is a place where you will be working a lot and 
to go to home directory you just type cd and then put the tilde sign so if you put the tilde sign you will be in your home directory and if you say ls right now you can see your home directory and if you want to go to a root directory root directory is a place where you keep always your system files settings program files and this and that blah blah so if you want to go to your root directory you just have to type cd and then forward slash and hit enter and right now you are into the root directory and if you do ls then you can see there are the different places bin dev lib etc means there are many uh, settings advanced setting that comes under etc the libraries and many things but we don't want to get into that at this moment we are not at all interested that we'll keep it for the next video so let's go back to our home folder again and uh, you can see right now we are on the home and let me go back to yeah of course you might wonder like how we can run only one command and get into umesh because you know we have to travel through the desktop and on the desktop there is umesh so if you want to go directly to umesh directory you just have to type cd and then dot slash um desktop and then perhaps you can type umesh and then hit enter and right now you are into the umesh directory so that's the hard and quickest way to go to uh, the the desired directory so let me clear again because i love a clear screen um the next step is you might wonder because the python is very powerful programming language and uh, it's, it's a scripting language basically and with the python uh, with the raspberry pi it actually flourish so in order to use a python uh, script to uh, control the devices with the raspberry pi you don't need to install any python you just have to type a command called python and hit enter and catch you will be into the python shell and now you can easily type your program and you can see the python script will be running so if i can write a very basic program called 2 plus 2 equals to 4 i can write the most most famous program in the world is the hello world so i can say print and then in double code i can say hello world bam and you can see now i can run my python script it's very very simple and easy so but this is not a way that we're gonna write a python program in the future when we're going to control leds uh, buttons switches then subwoofer motors display and many many th things so the first thing is we have to come out of this python shell by holding control and z and that will uh, take you back to uh, the place where you came from and then the idea is to create a, a python script right it's like a, a, a special file a special python module for one particular program let's say we're going to take a very simple program for now uh, let's let me show you first we are in the omesh directory and we have only one file readme.txt so what if if you want to create a hello world program but that will be in a very modular fashion what you're going to do is you will type sudo nano and uh, let's say hello dot python because pypy is the python extension for the hello dot py file and hit enter and write your python program so print and now you can see now your syntax highlighting gets started and let's write let's say merry christmas right okay i don't like this hello world so let me save this file again with the changes holding Control o enter Control x to come out of the file and let's run ls and you can see now hello.py file is already created to run this a python file um, hello.py you just have to type python because it's a python program and try the name of the file which is hello.py and then hit enter bam merry christmas christmas the spelling is wrong but that's okay i am very bad in english so this is how you're gonna create a python file in the next couple of videos we're going to do a lot of interesting stuff but for now we're going to stop yeah before that i would like i would like to show you you know um if, if we go back one directory and if we list i think in the beginning when we started we'd only have the codes directory right this directory we didn't have this umesh directory so what if you want to delete a directory because that is also very important so you have to type sudo because you have to have a super user um privileges and then you have to type rm that is a remove minus r and then type the name of the directory umesh let's say in this case and hit enter bam 
and if I do ls, you can see now I have deleted this umesh directory. So all the programs and everything is gone, and uh, that's all. Let me go back to my home directory. Clear. That's all. That's all for this video, and in the next video, we're going to create some good and uh, very beautiful programs where we're going to control some LEDs and some switches and some more fun stuff. I hope you will like this video and if you really like this video then please don't forget to hit like and subscribe button. We'll see us in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.